Hello there. Welcome to week three of the book of Versary celebration, celebration or commemoration. I don't know which word to use. Anyway, the book of Versary of the Numinous Tarot Guide, A New Way to Read the Cards. It is the second anniversary of the release of my book. It was released in October 2021. Uh, yeah, and I just wanted to do something to, you know, mark the occasion. The Numinous Tarot Guide is still available wherever you purchase your books. Please, please support independent booksellers. If you know of a of an independent bookseller, or you you have one you normally purchase your books from, and and um, they don't have the Numinous Tarot Guide like on hand just ask them to order because they can get the book in. So please support independent booksellers. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to put that in there. Uh, yeah, so this is week three. I am reading another chapter. And uh, yeah, wait, I just realized something. That arrow you see up there, um, I have that there as a reminder for me to duck. We live in an old house. My office is in the attic and there are these big wooden beams. So I walk and I either bang my head or uh, the beams catch my hair. So that's why you see that up there. I forgot to take it down before I hit the record button. Okay, so here we go. This week, I am reading the tower chapter. And just as a reminder, here is the tower card you see there from the Rider Waite Smith deck. Also, it is in the book. If you don't have a deck, the uh, pictures from the Rider Waite Smith deck are in the book. And this is something I realized, or I didn't, I actually didn't know. Folks on my Patreon, and if you're not a member of my Patreon, I invite you to join. Folks on my Patreon are, um, they're coloring. They're coloring uh, inside the book. They're coloring cards. So I think that's really cool. Um, yeah, also on my Patreon, I, you know, I'm doing the same video but I also offer an MP3 of this so you can download and listen to, you know, listen to me read this chapter as you color in, if that's what you want to do. Also, again, before I start reading, depending on the response to these videos, maybe I will do this uh, past October, but again, depending on the response of uh, response to this video. Okay. Enough of that. Let's go ahead and read The Tower from The Numinous Tarot Guide, A New Way to Read the Cards. Have I plugged my book enough? Okay. You're not a suspicious person, but you just can't shake the feeling. Your partner has always arrived home at the same time, sticking to their usual schedule without fail. But over the past few weeks, they've been showing up at different times sometimes a little earlier, sometimes a little later. They're also moody and anxious, and when you ask if anything's wrong, they snap at you and leave the room. You finally figure out that there is still a slight pattern to their behavior. They've been late the past two Fridays in a row, so you assume that they'll be home late this Friday too. Perhaps that's why you were so shocked when they come home early and find you on the sofa with your lover. They've known about the affair the whole time. The tower, number 16 in the Major Arcana, is a jolt to the system. The card features a bolt of lightning striking a solid, stable structure. The tower stands in tower stands tall in the middle of the card, representing ideas, situations, or even relationships that were thought to be sound. The bolt, a sudden shock, strikes the tower and sets it on fire. The occupants jump for their lives, not knowing if they'll survive. They're surrounded by golden sparks and the pieces of their lives and dreams being incinerated into ashes. Why do we experience tower moments in our lives? Most of us are taught from childhood that, that if we work hard and lay the correct groundwork, we'll be secure, maybe even successful. 
So that's what we do. We go to school, work hard to get decent grades, go to university, find a job, find a partner, and so on. What we're not taught is that even when we follow all the rules and build the perfect lives for ourselves, there is no guarantee of a fairy tale ending. You might flunk out of school. You might get fired from your job. You may realize you're not happy. Your partner might cheat on you or you on them. When these things happen, you realize that the foundation upon which you've built your life, your tower, isn't so sturdy. A racist boss, a diagnosis, unfaithfulness, or just plain shitty luck can be the lightning bolt that brings everything crashing down. The question is, what do you do in the aftermath? Do you go into perpetual mourning over what was lost, clinging to the idea, cling, clinging to the identity of victim for comfort? Or do you sift through the rubble and realize that the base of your tower was rotten to the core? If anything can be salvaged, great. If not, it's time for a fresh start. The tower card can also represent a stressful situation that is built up to the point of becoming explosive, followed by relief. When the tower card shows up, it's here to help you work through a major shock to the system. Think of it as the universe's way of ripping the plaster off. The pain is sharp, but quick. And allowing air to get to the wound will help you begin to heal. So that's the tower card from the Numinous Tarot Guide, a new way to read the cards. There are also journal prompts here that you can uh, use with your work with the tower. So, okay. This is week three, or that's from week three of the New Tarot Guide. A new way to read the cards next week is, uh, yeah, week four. I will see you then. And thanks for watching. Bye.